Greetings, hello, welcome back to my long War of the Chosen, and as you can see from the loading screen here, we're going in for the troop column, so the assassin did not attack us just yet. So time to get literally the whole barracks back home, and get some fancy corpses and loot in the process. Win, 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 win situation. Oh, oh, hi, 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 I think we found all the enemies. It's a 16 to 18 uh, enemy mission. Ah, yeah, sect body, uh, mutant, the Andromedon, okay, yeah, all right, all right, all right, cool. What is that? Another Andromedon, another Andromedon. We're gonna have some Andromedon corpses after this. Um, but let's make sure that we're not also gonna have some XCOM corpses after this. All right, um, let's do a slight fallback, I think. What do I even have here on this mission to deal this? So we do have the good old electric bullet to do a lot of damage to that sector part. Uh, we do have captain for the big, big shots. don't really have much in the way of AOE outside of a trench gun. Does Jet really want to be in there somewhere with all those guys and trench gunning? I am not sure yet. We do have full override. And plenty of targets. I'm not sure if that, that role is going to be... Um, Super great. All right, let's go up here. That seems fairly, fairly safe. Although it does block this side of the of the area for anybody else. I get you all the way back here. That seems a little bit excessive. Um. I did not expect to find this many enemies this quickly. Man, I miss that vulture. Did you, I thought somebody here had, uh, you know, I can climb down up, up walls. Abilities. I kind of regret that move. You know what? I'm sure we'll be fine for another turn. Or I'll just come up here and go through here and we take like two turns to set up on, on those various windows. I speed low drag. Yeah, let's not do anything that would commit us to an early engagement here. Like that's Master. that's a lot of stuff. Only thing I'm committing to right now is going a little bit here on the left hand side. Yakaha, I'm coming. Bevigo, Bevigo. Yeah. Except for our saboteur who's on the right, but that's fine. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I also heard an Archon just now. Could certainly use some Archon corpses. Coming. 
I think this is the best overview we had so far of what's actually here, except we don't see the second snake in the liquidator, but that's three enemies here, four in this group, that's seven, and five more there, that's twelve. That's sixteen to eighteen total on the map. So, we are not even close to done names here. Well, technically we haven't even started, but we're also not done. Um, Tell me. Trying to trying to get a picture of what is all here and how we're gonna deal with that. Can't wait to activate aliens in the fog. And how used the Slayer is going to be for the first part, because, man, this does not feel like a melee friendly situation here. Um, I think I'm going to bring you up here, too. I think I'll keep you out here. So, most likely scenario, right, is that this group is moving away and these two groups are coming. So we try to trench gun this this pot, probably but with run and gun, even though we're not moving, right, just to get killer instinct, extra crit, and hopefully, as I always forget, all right, no, they're not the... There's a frost snake, and I don't remember what it's called, that is immune to AoE attacks. And just always um, making sure that this is not it. All right, that's not helpful if they're coming. Now they're leaving, all right. And over to the left. I'm just gonna stay kind of central in the room with you, so you can walk to any direction. Same with you. Now, as much as I liked any scouting so far, she doesn't retain concealment when we engage, so I want her um, out of vision. Over here. On a side. So this is not a... Normally I like to open up on the biggest part of the map, right? Because concealment ambush, biggest advantage, yada yada yada. But we have four people who can shoot from squad side, right? Um, so I think our biggest advantage in this case is actually just taking out a group and then scouting with Contra and the other guys shooting from squad side. Speed low drag. So for now he's just going to be there. Probably not contributing this first fight. Okay. I'm on a reasonable amount of trouble. When I say this first fight, it's like depending on what actually happens. Yeah. They're moving back. Okay. So yeah, um, setting up, 
a trench gun with an assault is probably can can be very frustrating and uh, an exercise in patience. And also an exercise in predicting where you're gonna move to. So let's say you move this way. So they could come in here, they could walk it this way. Okay. So technically shouldn't have an action remaining. Shifting here. Gazing over here. Since it looks like we might be having an engagement here, I, I want Chris to be somewhere where he can shoot from just outside their vision, right? So he gets the, the crit bonus. And I don't have to stealth him. Drop him here. I mean, if things start going down, you can always come here, so we have high cover, and then shoot in this direction. I shoot now. Right. And any joins the party. Yeah, I just want to have you in a position where you can take both actions. Hey, come on, this Probably way. like stun hack one of the mechs. And something else. Right -o. I know, I'm not moving the way I expected them to move. Fair enough. God, I wish I had some proper AOE right about now. Also, a fun mechanic. Hey, more enemies. Somebody give me. Well, technically, we have Spark Striker. But we could explode an explosive that they carry, but it's all kind of weak sauce. That's like flow, throwing. A ballistic grenade at this point. A ballistic grenade? What? Basic, basic grenade. Which is just really not cutting it anymore at this stage of the campaign. Um, So the problem is, right, I know that it's kind of tedious here right now, but the problem is we need something. Like we can't just, you know, I'll start shooting the Archon. That's not going to win us this fight. There's, there are too many enemies clumped up, so we need some sort of AOE. So kind of, unless we can isolate one of the groups, we need a, pretty much need a trench gun opener. Anything else will not do. So, assume you come down the road. Let me just grab somebody who can actually count. Seven, eight. You would be like here in this area. Which does not give me really any good positions for Jet to be in. Over there. Now uh, you need to get your butt over to the other side here. Well, you can still move and shoot next turn, right? You don't need steady to weapon. That's fine.
I think we actually want to be away from this window side so that we don't have the third group joining the party here. So go all the way back there. One of the balcony. Pronto. Take that spot. Are you actually in detection? No. I was viewed from somebody else, else's detection radius. Okay. Um, I know they're gonna they're gonna move in a weird way, and that's gonna be disappointing and frustrating here in a second. <laughs> no time to stop. Go. So here's a fun question. Right. What what do you uh, what is more frustrating? Being like on an HQ assault like we were the other day and not finding right. any enemies or finding enemies and then just toying around with them the whole time because they wouldn't move to the position you want you need them to move to. What could possibly go wrong? All right. Is Beagle Rush playing? Okay. So they're splitting up. Big gamble. Are they gonna come this way? Are they gonna come that way? Uh, do we do we after all this talk new sparks right what what are you carrying concussion grenade disorient with a chance to stun well you yourself are immune to stun and explosives but things if I had um the thing that makes my arc throw attacks instant, right? Not cost an action. Then Spark Strike is a great opener. This way, I, I want to use your opener for electric bullet to take down one of the mechs. Um, I'm gonna... Out this well, there's one other thing we could do, but I'm not... also not super confident about it. Would be the good old... Uh, somebody stand on the open, walk into you, sure, and whatever. force a reveal. Which is a fantastic tactic for Gatecrasher, but it quickly loses relevance on any mission afterwards. I was hoping he was walking this way, he was walking that way, he should have gone to that corner. Uh, but you're flanking me anyway, so let's take the opener. Full time. Any second now. You'll have to suffer a little longer. Alright, um, okay, Codex, Archon, 
trying to figure out which are the problem units here and how we're going to deal with them. So we've got the Fremexia, which I think is just going to be a matter of dedication. Run and gun. You can't run and you can't hide. Finding that right spot where I can target them all. I get it. We're gonna pull. No, we're not. Well, in typical trench gun fashion, we cannot target them all. I'm just really going pixel by pixel here, but I, no, it's this. No way I can get them out. So who's who's the biggest threat? I think the two longbows. Well, that could have gone way better. Wow. Are you still rocking? No, this is a brand new storm gun. How in the world? That was terrible. That was truly terrible. But chances are there's another group back here, right? So even though I could do something where I drop down here, we can take shots at these from a flank. It's not really gonna work. Isn't that broken? No, it's not. Only I knew where the last group is here. So that would be that would be fantastic if I can just come here, shoot, fade, shoot, fade, kind of thing. Hmm. Maybe if I can take this take on this snake, then this has shorter detection range, and I can sneak in somewhere on a flank. Uh, which probably means Hmm, which probably means I have no idea. Alright, so since whenever I don't know what to do, I'll just, uh, you know, distract myself with uh, just do something else instead. So I think we're just gonna send you on a journey against this Andromedon. Which also means you're gonna pull that one overwatch. It's fine. Should be fine.
Now it's stunned for one. Uh, it will attack me, which I guess we'll just have to eat, but then it's gonna get frozen from that attack. That's bit of frost blood. Um, so that's okay. How much mobility are we getting from this? Okay. Anytime you're ready. Well, see, there's our problem. <laughs> Hi. All right. Um, I mean, as long as you get the kill, that's not really the problem, right? That's why we have Silent Killer. But yeah, that probably means um, you will not be able to contribute in any other way, yeah. So I think we, we need to command and then take a shot at this guy. Get another sign, get a shot off. This action might be enabled to call over there. Okay, so who's left to deal with? Oh, that's also the whole problem of activating this group. Somewhere down here. Oh god, this is... All right. All right. We've got some, some concerns here. Alright. Um... Is there a better spot for me to do this from? We go here, as risky as that looks, we don't have line of sight on these guys. That was another group, right? Uh, Alright, it's gotta be good enough. Um, Kill that. Fuck yeah, that was kill. Old stealth meta is over. Mm, wrong game. Cast is built. Aw, oh, no fair, you peaked. It's burning. But you know what's even better than burning? Being dead. Wait, what? Is the icon frozen because I was shot on Overwatch while running past and that froze the icon? Do I only see that now? <laughs> how, how did that happen? Um, I mean, I know how it happened, but that's kind of hilarious. Burning, chilled, frozen. <laughs> ah, have a nice day. Oh, you want to either way, you get line of sight on the Andromedon from this spot. That's kind of crazy. Um, that's way too cutting it close here. Yeah? So I need you to get inside here, which still has line of sight on, the, on that Andromedon. that Andromedon, I think. 
Yeah. What a sideline. Bestätigt. Rücke aus. Okay, so you can probably... F yeah, you can definitely easily kill, it, kill that man. Bit of a waste, using your shot on an archer. Alright, so we have this snake, which is a command command away from being used. We have the Codex, which I don't really have an answer for. The Andromedon, which is somewhat controlled. Now we couldn't can try to come back here, which is out of out of vision of the codex, and snipe it for full cover with all our aim bonuses. On my way. Let's do that. This might be useful. That's how it's done. Just gotta hit your seventy fours. XCOM's an easy game, as long as you hit all your shots. Okay, which means you come in here. Hell yeah. Well, someone couldn't handle the jandle. Yeah, whatever that means. Um so, I guess you can see Daddy home. Just a seven ninety percent crit was that, right? Based on hit chance, I'm thinking. Not necessarily on crit chance, so not much we can do about that, because I'm not in in line of sight to give Fox fire here. I think we're just gonna give an April to go back there. Yeah, not having quick soldier info to at a glance see who still has actions is kind of annoying. Totally something you should do with the last action of your squad, right? Taking a 90% shot that activates a sector pod if you get revealed. You asshole. So, I guess the bitter frost blood only triggers when I actually get hit. I want, I want that loot. I want all that loot. So you should be able to, to handle this guy, right? Stunt free. I might. I don't think I actually want to kill at this point. Okay, so he's handled. So we don't want to deal with phase two, that's what I'm trying to say. Um, so we might as well activate here. Although Contra does not have any fancy shenanigans. 
like quick feet uh, shenanigans going. Um, but you know, it's fine. Absolutely. Ah, it's not fine. That's actually kind of terrible. Hmm. I think they're a little bit too far away. Snapshot. Snapshot minus 40. Okay, you know what? In that case, in that case, I'm just gonna chill. Protocol in that direction, okay. Seems safe Good. to do this. I'd say it was worth it. Now, if I punch this into phase two here, then you should be able to kill it. So yeah, let's just just clean up here. Just want to be a little bit further away from these guys. Uh, you just have to roll max damage. Easy. So, you, you, you know, you gotta set expectations uh, with your squad if you want them to perform. And yeah, reasonable expectations, that is. And telling them, hey, you gotta do max damage. Probably not a reasonable expectation, but uh, it worked. Okay, uh, Chris needs to be out of visual range if we engage next turn here. So let's just bring him here behind the behind the truck. I am tactically tumbling. Rack, bang, tap, trap, rat attack, tip top. Look, you got to give me a minute. Now you don't. Steady over here. And I'm kind of torn One, a little bit. Two. You're going to get revealed at the start of my next turn. So I'm wondering if I just want to move you back a bit. But still close enough that they will activate once you reveal which I'm somewhat certain shouldn't give them yellow alert actions because hey it's my turn. You can count on me. Give them some pepper. No, it still says alien activity, so it might actually be their turn. Which might be an unhealthy time yeah. to to activate. Uh, so either we got lucky there that they didn't get any, any yellow alert stuff. All right. Now, past commander, can I ask you a question? Did you give anybody any sort of shredding? I sense a trend here. It 
So if we kill the sector part, the explosion is going to destroy the cover for that ice purger. So yeah, you probably have blue spray, right? Yeah. We want to use that with electric bullet. Yeah, one armor shredded. <laughs> so your weapon attacks shred armor. How much? Four armor shred. Alright, let's take that shot on the sector pot. Is outside of the vision range of the sector part, so I should have the super high crit chance. I do. Um, let's reload and we can burst. Burst overwhelmingly. That helps. Okay, so we've got the second ice perger and the drone. We've got daddy home, the contra, and we've got one more actions with any. And then you could technically not help in any meaningful way. Can't even move somewhere where you can teamwork any. Well, you could move here and can get teamworked by any, and then probably still charge the ice perger. We can't do fate shenanigans, so we don't need to necessarily move to a full cover position. But then again, why wouldn't we do a full cover position? Full cover seems kind of more, more solid. Is it a firing position? Okay, but I still think we want to do this first then. Come on. Fair enough. From fire poison, acid effects, vulnerable to psi abilities, remote control, blah 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 blah. blah. Okay. 
think that did too much for me, except that it's now stunned. For one action. Oh, the impact noise Well... I think Stunlasses should have base 2 armor. And problem of, do we actually want to kill this this turn? I think I'll try a throwing knife on this drone. Maybe from the high ground. Like old times. Feeling fresh. Might throw from the high ground later. Because then we can finally, for the first time ever, get some impersonal edge bonus here. We took shots and missed. Friggin' ate that guy. Interesting choice. I wonder if I would have been immune to the attack, because I'm immune to frost. And, you know, there's a argument to be made that an ice purger yeah? just frost attacks. I know, I know. Bolt claim. Have kind of munition. All right, uh, let's bring you in here. I bet you love to watch me go. Don't want to activate anything else right now. You see, Sam, I forgot the magic tape, did I? You can just double Crusader Strike here, and that should take care of the rest. Or maybe it doesn't. Can we get a kill for you? No, there's there's no line of sight here. There is ooh, there's no line of sight. You have line of sight. How's that work? You have line of sight with your weapon, but not with your knives. Because it's a squad side shot, you know? The squad sees him, and so I can shoot. I'm not even gonna question what's happening here. I'll just take the kill. <laughs> yeah, I'm low right on between the eyes. Killed 16, although three of those were Andromedon um, phase 2. Well, so it's whatever they're called. Raiders roll. Right. So we get Shadow Scouting, we also have a Ghost Grenade. I'm just gonna throw on to Contra here. Out of sight, out of mind. And we can do a little bit of the scoot. Bullets are good. 
What could possibly go wrong? Ah, I saw a group back there, but there's also a group here. How many groups are there left? Uh... Dude! Does your mom know you're out here on your own? Taking a look over here. Nachgeladen. Bin dabei. Almost there. Okay. Ah, uh, good. Getting it done. Okay. A little bit, uh, I don't know. Moving all around the map here. I hope you're ready. If he gets stuck, that means if we attack him, since he's still technically part of a group, that activates the whole group. Isn't that firing position? Oh no, he's not out there alone. I just had really weird line of sight. Okay. There's at least... Now there's two of them. Getting out of hand. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? Still haven't seen a group of two on a troop column, ever. I'm all over it. Probably gonna start sniping something here next turn or so. Mm. This all feels like way too close for comfort. That's where I'm activating, and that's where I'm going. Yeah, it's yeah, they didn't move last turn, surely they won't move this turn. Here. As I was saying, don't walk behind the car. Oh, but we still find a side. Just won't crit anymore, though. We'll be fine. We'll be totally fine. Two. Do you want some trench gun redemption here? I better pick up the pace. Uh, not the redemption arc I was hoping for. Electric bullet, electric boogaloo. And Bob Yanko. 
and then you can just shoot the back. Yeah, other direction. Oh, a trick shot! Look at you. We're still not done yet. Okay. Wait to activate aliens in the fog. That's and I think Danny Home is gonna just Raiders stay roll. away Raiders from the windows. Steve has PCS. Stay away from the windows and get some tracking information on this side. Okay. 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 Great. Hey, great, great, okay. I think I'm gonna pop shadows. Getting a little bit impatient at this point. It took so long to fight that first group. So now I just really want to clean up the map. Oh, oh alright. Let's make these guys sorry they showed up. Oh, we do have some advent here. Hi guys. Elite Lancer no. Heavy gunner, elite rocketeer. Now so here's the fun part. I stay concealed. If I kill you, and I think 90%, 100% crit, that's pretty good kill chance. Well, unless you exactly move to a tile next to me, but what are the odds of that happening? Heading out. Hello, my look at your friend. What are you doing there? By the numbers. Okay, now ideally, if I really want to minimax it, assuming I have a skull, I don't have a skull jack. Okay, never mind. We don't want to skull jack you. We just want to get it over with. Probably not that short. That should work. Thanks for Positive dying. Confirmation. Area secured. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Good job, everybody. Right. It took a little bit at the start to get the right opening, but um With a mug like that. You might get Advent to surrender after all. Patience uh, can pay off in this game. So that's four Andromedons. And despite the destruction left in their wake, XCOM refuses to let go of the ways of the old world. They will continue their wanton and reckless crimes until the entire world burns around them. We are grateful to the Elders for their support in ending this menace once and for all. The soldier that joined us from the Resistance is certainly a quick study, having already surpassed some of our other soldiers' capabilities. Alright, our bounty hunter can get big game hunter. Uh, imagine any gets 20% crit chance against them. This seems kinda <laughs> really weak, what? Um This seems super weak. Like, what am I missing here? Sure. Um, overwhelming burst, right? I shoot at the same enemy twice. So, the second shot will have 20% more chance to crit. Which is then effectively due to Dead of Night, plus two, plus one crit damage. Hmm. 
and cause additional vector rifle attacks. This sounds like a little bit of a banish effect, in which case, you know, we could get... So the thing is, just there's no situation where I would leave an enemy long alive long enough that these stacking crit chances would make any sort of effect. That's, that's super weak, I think. Even with Terminator, I mean, it seems like it, it's it's just banish, right? Banish with a fancy wording. Single target attacks against the enemy will cause additional vector rifle attacks. So I think Witch Hunt critically hits against psionic units, set them on fire, is kind of feels more valuable. Now, with the weapon damage we're doing and the additional damage on crits, nothing survives your shots anyway, so I don't think that matters really either. But it might matter more than Big Game Hunter. Maybe I'm missing, like, you know, I'm not, I'm not the perfect reader of tooltips, but I feel like this is... Not great. Uh, Michael Corpse, Thunder Michael Corpse, Sector Portrait. So let me just she check something here. So we haven't done the Andromedon autopsy yet. Currently doing powered armor. Hmm. But we have done the sector port autopsy. So we can actually now get um, a Mark Free Gremlin, which would be kind of nice. We could also get the um, Synaptic Booster gene mod for overwatches, but that feels kind of a little bit excessive. Um, hang on. I want, actually wanted to check for the Andromeda Autopsy, this unlocks what? The Mark III Holo Targeter. I always forget if it's like, is it Stun Gun, is it the Holo Targeter? Stun Gun is from the um, Gatekeeper, which is real shame that it's so far in, in the tree. Nanotech Ripjack. Yeah, whatever that does. Progressive knife. Oh, I think this is like coil tier weapons. I think certain progressive knife is like coil uh, knife, which, you know, seems odd that that's behind Andromedon when you usually get Andromedons later than Archons, which, or mutant elites even, which unlock the, the plasma tier knife. All right, all right, cool, 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 cool. Do we have any other m meaningful thing in here? Maybe so. I think someone was saying the bio uh, bio rocket um, launcher is actually kind of good. Can be fired with perfect accuracy. Combination of acid poison and conventional explosives. Yeah, let's just just queue this up. See what it does. I like the part of can be fired with perfect accuracy. Okay, we have from my selling session 
1100 supplies. We could start working on the uh, network tower, but I really want to have all the supplies available for the inevitable chosen Avenger defense. That's going to be coming any day now. To a point where I'm not even going to put anyone in the um, gene lab. Then very nice, very nice. Yes, Commander, yes, the ring facility. Ring facility. I know. Is currently idle. If we have the soldiers to spare, we should deploy them on a covert action with the resistance. All right, Templar promotion. Um, you can get Arc Wave, Superior Aptitude, or Crusader's Rage. I feel like something must have changed, but there's no way I, I put a put a check back here for Arc Wave. Right, this has to be superior aptitude. So otherwise, we're just going to be focus staffed for way too way too long. Um, I mean, I like arc wave, but no, no, no. This this got to be superior aptitude. Like you need on your Templar one focus perk, right? That can either be be channel channel, so that you can pick up focus. From enemies that drops on the ground. Downside is it's against Void Conduit, and Void Conduit is just Im absurdly good control. Um, superior aptitude, so you get two focus for each attack, which then you know you still need to attack once at least. But at that point, then you can can chain out of all of that. Um, I'm not going to talk about meditation because that's such a weird perk that we're just going to ignore that it exists. And then there is indomitable, gain one focus when you're attacked, which kind of requires to leave enemies alive to attack you and hope they actually attack you and don't attack somebody else. And that seems like uh, not the kind of game I'm playing. All right. Um, Mike's gonna be back at 30 hours. We're just gonna, we're just waiting. Just waiting for the Avenger assault. Now, I don't need all my officers for that mission. I can get somebody into training here, right? So it's really the question. Who of the two of you is gonna go on the Avenger Assault, or is it gonna be what Chris? This is Colonel, so that means he has what? Not bots, officer abilities, infiltrator. Not necessarily the most important perk for an officer on that mission. Um. I think the other two are Lieutenant Colonel, yes. Yes, everybody is. So we all have fire discipline, which was apparently broken for a while, but was actually fixed uh, yesterday or today with a patch. So that's good. Um, I think Puppeteer Stealth Protocol is probably going to be stronger on the Chosen Avenger defense, so we're going to throw any in for some some officer training here. And on the same note, we're not going to need all of our people available for this. So we could do gene mods on somebody. How are we looking for melt? Still plenty of melt. So as much as I like Templars, um, I'm not sure that you're going to be on the Avenger defense, because it's not necessarily a super melee friendly mission. 
So let's throw you in. We do have a bit of frost blood already. So I think you're gonna get spider climb for the wall climbing, but also for the mobility increase. Let me just double check one thing. That we didn't purchase anything that gives you spider climb already. No. Okay. Yeah, and synaptic booster was what I was talking about earlier. That is causing a sector pod rank and a spectacorps, but um, that's all around superior capability in all reaction situations. Changing hit rolls being more favorable. So this goes for reaction attacks you make, but also for running enemy reaction fire, right? She's kind of also a nice thing to have on, on a class with guard, where they can guard up, which already demotes um, the enemy shot one level, and then synaptic demotes them uh, another level, so turning a hit into a dodge, a dodge into a miss. Then you're basically immune to reaction fire as long as you have guard up. And as long as you as your crit immune. Anyway, can we can we have a chosen here, please? Um, I should also ch double check again. We don't have counter chosen ability uh, uh, activity here. Do contacts available? Like same thing. We're not gonna have. It's nice that we have everybody at base, probably can afford to send some some slightly lower level people out on a mission. And we need to hunt this guy. The day reduction. Yes, there is there's a chance of an ambush. I'm aware. So let's make actually sure you have decent enough equipment. Can't build equipment from here. Hello, Commander. I really wish the um, covert action interface was more in line with the rest of the game. Like the whole thing, I can't build equipment from there, I can't access all the, the soldier stuff. If there's no ambush chance, I can't unequip the soldiers. There's just so much that's bugging me about this. Which, you know, they just had to copy paste whatever you're using in squad in, in the normal squad layout and they decided like no gonna have a feature reduced squad layout right, but what if I need those features well screw you then Uh, okay, just just some basic equipment. I don't want to take anything away, like weapon attachments. I can't put weapon attachments on this weapon now, right, in this interface. Which seems really weird. I 
It's still like I'm sending big bulky mechs with heavy weapons on covert actions. Seems seems kind of funny to me. But whatever. My kind will do whatever is needed. You can even send a ship on a covert action and those things are so loud. Anyway, Ike's back. Avatar to prove us back. Commander, the aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar project. If we're going to slow them down, we'll need to move fast. Another Mastercrafted Asset Launcher. So, you know, my initial reaction was disappointed. Uh, asset Launcher, crap. Then we used it on the one mission, and it was okay for the opening. What really bugged me, though, is it had like a super long cooldown right we only got one use out of it during the whole mission even though we used it for the initial opening um it never got off, off cooldown until the end of the mission which seems to me not fantastic um what else are we doing here oh i did want The EMP thing, is that something I need to research or is probably just something I just need to build? Should get battlefield medicine at some point. Uh, yeah, cube content. Still still running with the basic plating. Might want to look into carapace soon. Okay, that's that's enough queued up for the next few days. Keep Shen off my back. Alright, then again, the whole thing of we know which officer we want on that mission. So we could train somebody else, but nobody else needs training. Alright, carry on. Still don't like not having any missions here, but again, it's any day now. We should have the Avenger defense triggering. So it's been five days since the supply drop. I was told it should be within the first five days. Can I, can I get some officer training for Tony? No. So we definitely have those two on the adventure defense. We probably also have those two. Um, Boomer and Cloud. I think we can. Like I really like the arsonist with all the control, all the hundreds of grenades they can throw around. But I'm not sure if that's what we need on that mission. So let's send them in, in, in teamwork training. Let's see how that goes. Major breakthrough completed. Okay. <laughs> Commander, the aliens are still moving forward on the Avatar project. Taking it's not like we just would deal a serious blow to took down um, two blips of project uh, pro, uh, progress with that covert action. Commander. The aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar project. If we're going to slow them down, we'll need to move fast. It's been seven days. It's nothing on this end. All systems check out. It's almost as if our own signal is bouncing back at us. Perimeter alarm! Looking for a breach. 
Almost got it. There. It's one of those things. That can't be good. You have repeatedly underestimated me. I told you I was coming, yet I see you have made no efforts to prepare. How disappointing. Shall we begin? Get me a fix on its location. Now! Got it. But you're not gonna like this. to critical systems throughout the ship. We can't take many more direct hits. We're not going to. Commander, we need to take that thing out while we still can. Our forces can deploy immediately. Just give the word. The Chosen have finally found us, Commander. We need to prepare our defenses. Since you continue to flee and hide like vermin, I will come to you, and we will fight at the threshold of your sanctuary. Wonderful. Now, the big question is, can we actually take injured units on this mission? Any punches. They're here to take us down for good. We can send out two full squads to defend the Avenger and protect you, Commander. What do you say, Bradford? Can we, can we take injured? Back into combat if you feel it's necessary. This operation is critical to our efforts. We may not have much of a choice if we want to proceed. Commander, we can't afford to let this operation get away from us. Even if it means sending our wounded forces back into combat, we have to succeed at all costs. Right. It remains a mystery. Uh, anyway, so we want to have probably a bunch of advanced sergeants here. Um, hunter assaults. Then. Definitely a saboteur for some scouting. Definitely a reaper for some scouting and killing. You're bonded to Andy. Uh, another potential scout. But we're already running out of spots here. So we want an officer. Well, I said take Rattler in this one. We definitely want rockets. And I think we also really want guns. Oh god, you were two XP away from the motion. Dang, son. Are you a rocket launcher? Use twice per mission. Sports and impact. Acid and poison. Okay, you know what? Sure. It's better than a shredder gun. Range 27, that seems pretty good. And I think that they have no scatter, right? Radius 3. So, one last slot that is available to us here. I think I might even um, get you a second Shredstorm rocket over the double phosphorus. Definitely also want one of them in here. Uh, new armor rate, one of the three gremlin. Which 
stumble up it. Loads of ammo in here. This is not good enough, so at least see thing rounds are always going to be better than AP rounds. I still feel um, maybe we should pick the radiation ones. Oh, maybe we should bring uh, our sharpshooter for the last spot. Now, you very often don't have high ground. On the chosen Avenger defense. Man, this is this is a tough competition for the last spot. Uh, between disabling shot and double tap and maim, I think it's gotta be a scratch. Christina is going to be a lot of close range firepower. And there's something also to be said to bring, like, the bounty hunter. And I could even make an argument for bringing our um, oh, electrician for the, you know, taking down the sector pots that will be on the midst. There, there will be at least. Two sector pots on the map. Probably three. Which actually then strengthens the argument of bringing the sharpshooter for the saving shot. Alright. Okay. Okay, so we've got cannons. Well, the only thing I'm not 100% convinced on here right now, that plasma short here, is actually our technician. Yeah. You, you gotta go. You gotta go. We gotta make room for somebody else. As mu much as I like to have bonds available, um, it's just not gonna cut it. Like, you bring the bond to the table, and then any hacking is better done with Rattler. And the frost effects, I'm just comp gonna complain about again, so... So I'm thinking, I'm feeling like Spark. Shredder, holder targeting collateral damage. Let's first of all, can we build a plated bit? Uh, 
Not sure what tech they require, what corpses they require. Uh, powered bit. That's what I was looking for. Yeah. No corpses. Okay, cool. Can we get any more corrosive rounds? No. All the good ammo is back here. I'm kind of liking the uh, idea of bio-rocket launches, especially since those have two uses, right? So, no, oh, can't equip that on in this slot. All right, cool. That's fine. Yeah, and give you shredder rounds. So we've got potential to overdrive shredder. You shred five points of each tech. That's gonna be helpful. And even though, you know, I'm, I'm getting the best possible weapons for every slot, even if somebody might not use it. Jet is mainly here to run overwatches. Um, it's gonna be a little bit rough using shotguns on this mission. But I feel like having one close quarters person is always helpful. All right, I think that's okay. Yeah, we're saving for slam fire. Not spending that here, even though this, you know, this mission could end the campaign if we lose it. Uh, what about you? Oof, yeah, okay, no, can't, can't really, can't commit to that. So many people with leftover AP. I always forget, uh, I still underutilize pistols, and that's something I might have to focus on more in a future campaign. So I think it's, that ship has sailed for this campaign. Anyway, let's send them off. Um, I'm gonna go through the loading screen here, because I can't, I can't make a safe game in the loading screen, so I have to save basically at the start of the mission, so I might as well show you the start and the cool walking out the Avenger intro cinematic in this episode. Because this episode is not long enough yet. Why? Cuts, cuts down the time on the next episode, eh? And we'll kind of get a first impression of what we're facing. Chosen are attempting a ground assault on us with heavy weaponry. Prepare to defend the ship. We have to take out that gun. The enemy turrets are hammering the ship. We have to take them out before they breach our hull. Commander, that Chosen brought some sort of massive artillery cannon with it. It's There's true, no way we can take off of that thing is operational. They're powering the cannon with a supplementary generator on board that truck. It will probably take them some time to build the charge. So if we can take that thing out, the cannon itself will be useless. Right, um, yeah, that's the mission. We see already 
consulted custodian. There's, I don't see a custodian grandmaster, which is normally part of this group. But maybe we're still too early in the game for them to show up, which would be kind of nice. Um, so each of those gun emplacements has like a sector pod, muton elite, like a good old, good old command pod. And then there's some other stuff, and the Chosen's gonna turn, uh, show up here on round two, so that's fun. Alright, um, I'm taking a safe here, and um, the rest of the mission is gonna be in the next episode. Thanks for watching, see you next time.